You know, traditionally, a um, long time ago, back in the 90s when I was doing my PhD, uh, back then, uh, coronaviruses has always been a problem in uh, animal viruses. Not so much in uh, human infections. Of course, there have been uh, uh, the human coronaviruses, but uh, typically uh, it's uh, fairly mild. But obviously, SARS uh, changed everything. And then after that, we had the MERS. And it was obvious that uh, coronaviruses are not as mild. And um, the current COVID-19, again, it actually sort of uh, history is returning again. We know that it is not as uh, straightforward as, as it seems. I mean, clearly, this family of viruses, they are sophisticated. Clearly, uh, viruses are also smart, you know, smart pathogens. You know, they constantly evolve and they will continue to evolve. It's like a kind of a cat and mouse game. Uh, I think they, they see that uh, probably our new world, it's uh, a lot more uh, complex, more sophisticated. So it means that pathogens also will have to get more sophisticated, you know, in order to keep up, you know, to, to con continue with this cat and mouse game. The PCR molecular diagnostics aims to uh, detect um, the amount of uh, viral uh, RNA in the blood or in, 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 in the nasal swab or any other clinical samples, while uh, immunoassays aim to detect the level of uh, antibodies. Uh, so for any one of us, uh, whenever we are exposed to any pathogen, so in this case it's a virus, we will actually generate uh, antibodies against um, this particular virus. So by using uh, immunoassays that detects uh, antibodies uh, from individuals, so this will actually, it could be, actually be used for uh, serial epidemiological purposes to survey the entire uh, uh, community, if uh, how many percent that actually people have exposed, have, have been exposed. And then from there, you will be able to understand the percentage of asymptomatic cases. So through understanding the immune responses to immune profile the uh, people, uh, then uh, we will really get to have a very good idea on when uh, the antibodies are being uh, generated and now uh, and where does this all these antibodies target which part of the viral proteome it recognizes so by understanding this is what my my uh, research team is uh, working on with the uh, clinicians then we were able to profile the patients and then from there we could then uh, you know design uh, uh, um, detection assays to actually capture the right type of antibodies using the right uh, viral antigen Whatever uh, um, research topic that we are working on, you know, from uh, previous uh, uh, studies or even other uh, uh, pathogens, it will always be of use. And this is how the challenge for scientists like myself is how could we uh, repurpose some of our expertise and uh, some of the information that we know, you know, to, to actually uh, to, to act quickly for this. Um, to, to help, how, 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 how could each one of us actually play a role actually to help the clinical community?